Guys, our 10 times bonus entry week is here. So if you want to grab those 10 times bonus entries right now to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 in cash, all you got to do is go to lnpgear.com, place an order, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. 10 times bonus entries will not last very long though, so if you want to grab them, grab them while you can. Or forever hold your peace, and best of luck to you. Somebody's got to take this thing home. Somebody could be you. If you don't mind my wife's cow print. You guys are probably thinking this is... Got yeah, something funny about him. Got all this cow print stuff here in his car. This is mostly my wife's runaround car. My grandpa's truck is going to be my daily for the rest of the summer, but it's currently getting all the paint and rust taken care of on it. So she got it all personalized with her scrunchies on the shifter and freaking saw this. She likes it, so it's whatever, you know? We're on our way, we're gonna grab, I gotta grab a new oil filter for the Alice Chalmers because I couldn't find the one that I wanted the other day. We're gonna be grabbing some deer minerals because I wanna pick up some deer minerals. We might not do anything with those today, but I'm gonna pick them up at least because I'm gonna be right by the store that supplies that stuff. And then we're gonna pick up some fuel for the tractor because I got another spot I'd like to clear out. And at the end of all this, We'll make a piece of content out of it. I'm assuming there won't be a lot in here, hopefully, which drained out. Brand new filter. Oil filter. Locked. Picked up the minerals, all the stuff, putting out a trophy rock right here where that blind was because it's a nice big dirt patch now from the vegetation being gone. And I removed that blind yesterday and you can see there's some deer tracks all through this soil right where that blind used to be because like I said, this is actually a trail. I followed it back through and the trail naturally went right through here and then up on through or it split off that direction, but this is kind of like a central location. It's okay for a mineral spot, but not a great spot to stick a blind right in the middle of it, um, just because you're probably gonna spook a lot of those deer when they're coming down that natural movement way, natural travel way, and then they see a big old box blind like right in the middle of it. So I'm actually gonna be moving this ladder set up here. It's a really nice ladder setup. I'm glad that he left it because I can definitely use it, but I'm gonna be taking that and moving that back out to this edge so you can see down into here, but you're not in the way of the movement. We're gonna get to setting up a trail cam here. I'm actually gonna put a cell cam on this tree right here uh, facing head on to this mineral rock and also being able to see across the bank here. I think it's gonna be a really good camera location and so we're gonna get this set up. Well, I got both my trail cams set. I found this back there as well. There's a piece of that beam broke off. I don't know where that came from exactly. I don't know, it was somewhere on there. I think it was right there like that, chewed off. But yeah, not a bad, uh, not a bad deadhead in terms of mass. And the whole beam is chewed off on this side, but I mean, it's got a lot of mass to it. Not exactly what you like finding. It's cool to know that there's good deer in there. I did also speak with a contractor regarding finishing up this barn slash shop project in terms of possibly putting a whole new roof on it, doing black steel on the top, paneling the inside, doing the concrete. But regardless of which direction I go, I need to have the concrete work done. And the concrete work is at a minimum gonna be a couple weeks out still, according to everybody that I've talked to. Uh, they're just, you know, everybody's already pretty busy for the season, but I do have other things I can work on. So for this outer portion, this lean-to, structurally the lean-to is fine. I mean, the posts are solid. Uh, there, there's no movement in any of them. The only board that's gone is this outer board right here that's had all the exposure from the last 20 years. This outer board is bad, but if you go in here, all the rest of the boards, I mean, there's a couple little random scrap pieces that they just kind of use to give something else for the tin to tack to but 
all the rest of the boards all through under here are actually totally fine. And so what I'm probably gonna do is close in the wall from about this post up to the front. So make it so it's closed in from behind and on the side. And that way I can back the Alice Chalmers and the mower in over there and it's still enclosed and out of the weather, at least from all sides except for the front until we get a door on the front, depending on the style of doors I wanna go with, which is still up for debate. That's what I'm thinking. And then leaving this side, getting it a concrete pad, but then leaving it open front faced because I wanna be able to, you know, whether I wanna park the bush hall and a disc under here or use it to stack firewood under or whatever. I still want to have a part that's open. That way I can just back implements up against the barn and unhook them and not have to have, you know, every piece of equipment moved in or out to get something because that would just be very inconvenient. For today's purposes, I want to start to at least get all this wood moved and all the scraps under here, get them out of the way, and then take a weed trimmer and weed whack down all this tall overgrown grass so we can really see what we're working with. better right there. I got some ideas for this back lean to area. Well, it is day four, vlog three still. We're gonna be working on the shop a little bit more tonight. Um, I did get that progress yesterday with the lean to. The only board that I have to replace is gonna be this board here on the exterior out on the front because it's pretty, pretty far gone. Everything else, however, underneath is solid, totally good, so that's good news. This backboard might need replaced as well, unless it's been covered up by the tin enough to keep it in good shape. I mean, it's it might need replaced. It might need replaced. We might need to replace the back one there too. But other than that, we're good to start on progress with everything else inside. I'm gonna be pulling off the service doors because all the boards surrounding those are bad because they've been exposed to the weather for 20 some years now. Here's an example of this. This board right here is just, you know, just crumbling. I mean, it's just falling apart. So we're gonna have to take that out, um, take the hinges off the door so we can remove that, get that out of here. And then also- I'm gonna be taking the windows out and that way I can replace this lumber here. That is holding the windows in place because if you look there, um, they are gone as well. And it's just these exterior boards that were never trimmed in and they were never sealed off. Anything that was like exposed to the weather is just kind of bad. And I do actually have a bunch of lumber to get started on that and ready to go. And then the lumber for this back window, it appears to be good from the outside, but I'm gonna go on the inside and then uh, mess with that and just kind of see what we're working with there. So we're gonna get busy, enjoy the time lapse. My camera officially died, so I'm transitioning over to the cell phone. I'll show you what I got done so far. Nothing, nothing extreme. Some of this stuff's kind of a pain in the butt to do by yourself. So it can all be done, but it's just obviously more hands makes it a little easier. Like this window, I don't know if it's full of water from like little leaks and holes because it wasn't trimmed off right, but like it is so freaking heavy. Like my back is killing me right now. I'm pretty sure. It's a four foot by four foot, but I'm pretty sure like it's full of water, like a lot of the plastics and stuff, or at least it was when I was taking it off the first time. And then, cause when I was lifting it back up the second time, I saw a ton of it draining out the bottom. Definitely was a lot lighter putting it back in, but when I, brought, when I took it out, it was freaking heavy. 
uh, full of water. So I got that out. I replaced the rotten boards with uh, some new two by fours. That board running across the main structure of the barn is actually fine. It's got a little bit of water damage as you can see, but like the board itself, when I fastened that two by four on top to fill in and on the side, it, I mean, the board was plenty strong enough to, for that to really tie down in there and pull it in tight. So that's good. Um, this is obviously gonna all be getting trimmed off when we do the interior. I did also get the rear service door pulled off and all of the rotten trim around it. It was pretty, pretty junky. All the rest of it's fine. I took off everything that was bad. So all the rotten trim pieces from that cheap material they used to frame out those uh, doors that you can just pick up most places, pulled off all that rotten wood and left all the good stuff. And then if you come back around here, you can see this whole backyard section here. This was all full of that scrap metal fencing, I don't know, wire mesh. It's almost like stuff you would just about use for laying down on the ground to do concrete almost. That was all over in here. So I took it all out, put it in a pile far from the barn. And I mowed all this back here to make it look a lot nicer. And then I mowed and trimmed up around through here. Got the Alice Chalmers pulled in under the lean-to because this is part of that idea that I was telling you about the other day is I'm thinking about using this as a storage lean-to for the tractor, mower, and then, you know, park in the bush hog and disc that we pick up for it, uh, disc carrow for doing food plots and stuff. Um, just being able to park all this tractor slash mower stuff over here out of the shop is just going to be so much nicer. And this lean-to just fits the Al Shomers. I mean, it just it just fits in there with about six inches to spare on either side. So not a lot of room, but it does the job. So I'm thinking about enclosing this to where I enclose it all from this post all the way down to the middle post, which is about a 20 foot section, and then framing out a wall for the back and then closing it up with steel along the back and out the side. And then that way I can have the tractor in the zero turn stored out here even all winter. Probably have the tractor pulled in further and then have the mower in here as well. But that way it's at least out of the weather from all sides except for the front with the intentions of putting a front door on. But I'm trying to debate on what I'd want to do because there's a electrical box there for so slider out that way would be kind of a pain in the butt. We could do a double swinging out style door and just have it to where it can stay propped open to pull stuff in and out, but not officially decided on that, trying to decide what's gonna leave us with the most overhead space and make the most sense with what's all going on over there. And the next step is hopefully going to be having either this other small trailer over here, or if not that, my 20 foot trailer, once we get that picked up, it's still over there where we were living. Then I can load all of our boxes and things that, you know, are in here that I'd rather not get wet. I'd like to be able to put them on a trailer when the time comes. That way we can get all these shelves empty because I'm gonna be tearing all these off because they're all just old. They're all, they've got a lot of swaying to them. They're all just nailed together. I'd rather just not have that. And I'd rather have the walls just be a clean slate. And that way we can put some like toolboxes or something up against there that can roll around on the concrete, not just all these shelves. So I don't need all this shelving. And if I did want shelving, I would probably want to make it, you know, make a little bit more sense. I'd probably like make a corner that has shelving underneath with a small loft um, or something of that sort. That way we're only wasting space in a small corner of the barn if we need shelving, not this long, you know, three foot bench all the way along the side of the wall on this side and all over the corner over there just because most of the stuff that's in boxes can be just taken out and put on a shelf and condensed. It's just all in boxes right now because that's what we had to do for, you know, moving over. Do not forget, this is your last and final chance to get those 10 times bonus entries towards winning this 1995 Compound Turbo 12 Live Cummins plus the five thousand dollars in cash and all you have to do to enter to win that thing is go to lmpgear.com place an order on the store 
and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. It's that simple. If you want to claim 20 times entries, you can get those when you purchase a monthly mystery box. And every time that thing renews, it gets you 20x entries again into the current giveaway. Or if this giveaway is over, it gets you entries towards the next giveaway truck that we're doing so on and so forth and as long as you stay subscribed and it renews you're going to be getting entries in towards our trucks thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support hit that thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you haven't done so yet and i'll catch you in the next video peace